Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. I wanted to discuss a little bit about sticker shock in the market. I know it's um, it's crazy. The prices are going up like nuts, 25% um, in the last year. So if you are currently sitting in a property that you feel is maybe too small for you, but the prices of what's out there are just out of reach, you may be surprised at the value of your current home. Everything has gone up across the board, across the country, uh, around the world. Prices have skyrocketed on properties and homes. So if you think that that next level up house is too much, you may be surprised to find out what your current house is worth and therefore making that next step might not be as painful. So if you wanted information about that, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to discuss with you. Um, and along that line, I also wanted to talk a little bit about getting your house ready for sale. So over the next few weeks, I'm gonna talk about some things that you can be doing this spring and summer um, to get your house show ready and sale ready. Uh, it, even if you have no intention of selling, it's still a good idea to do updates to your home every year, regardless of what they are. That way, um, if there is a big change in your life and you need to sell for any reason, moving a new job, um, you know, more kids, kids moving out, you're almost ready. And that's a big part of keeping your home um, in a good state. So the first thing I wanted to discuss was paint. The biggest impact you can make to preparing your house for sale is a fresh coat of paint inside and out. And inside in particular, um, if you have a smaller home, I'm saying a one level, a ranch, even a smaller cape, the best thing you can do is to select a neutral color and paint all your walls the same color and all your trim the same color. And that gives a continuity to the home. So as you're walking through, you're not noticing these blasts of color changes. What you're seeing is a neutral palette for you to picture your furniture in or for somebody else to picture their furniture in. And it allows you to not focus on the background as much as on how bright the room is, where you could put furniture, some of the nice um, historical qualities of the home, the trim, um, that's that large refrigerator you invested in, things like that really stick out when you have a neutral background. So one of my suggestions is to check with um, Sherman Williams. They have a whole selection called Sea Salt and that's a nice palette of really neutral colors that you can pick from. And they're just really soft, subtle background shades um, that would be really pretty in any house on the Cape. And I highly recommend you taking a look. It's really nice as you walk through a home to see all that uh, calm, neutral color so that, um, you know, a bright pillowcase or a nice funky couch will really stick out and show well um, with those colors in the background. So that's my tip for today. Have a great weekend, everybody.